Okay, everyone. So now we are learning the dynamic array. As the name signify, whenever the array change its size, that is called the dynamic array. Means whenever the program is running, at the time if you want to add more elements, then it is possible. Means size of array can change. Let us suppose that we are taking example here. There is an array A. Now let us suppose that there are two values that can be stored. So indexes are zero and one. Here I am entering two values. Let's say seven and three. If this is a static array, then this size will be fixed. That means only two values can be come here during the execution of program. But if it is a dynamic array, then the size of array can change. So here, if you want to enter one more element, then one more block is created with the index two, and here we can store any value. Let us suppose two here. If I want to store one more value here, then one more block will be created. This is having the index three, and we can store any value. Let us suppose that nine. So this way we can see that the array is keep on increasing its size as per the requirement. So this is called the dynamic array. So the first thing about dynamic array is the size of dynamic array change during the execution of program. When we need the static array and the dynamic array, let us suppose that we are having a class of 60, and we know that only maximum 60 students can come. So we know the size. At that time, we use the static array A60. But let us suppose that we are dealing with a customer shop where multiple customers are coming. We don't know how many customers will come. It can be thousand, it can be twenty, or it can be into the multiple thousands. So here we don't know the size. So at that time we just use the dynamic array. So if we don't know the size, then we use the dynamic array, or we can say that it is used when the size of array is not known. When we are using this dynamic array, at that time we don't have to provide any size during the declaration. So size of array not provided during the declaration. So if we are going to declare a dynamic array, so we will just simply write the name of array. Let us suppose a, and there empty bracket. This empty bracket signify that this is the dynamic array. The size we will define later on when the program will be executing. We can change the size of dynamic array, but we cannot change its data type. Let us suppose that while declaration I am providing that this array will be of integer type. So when the program is executing. at that time you can extend the size of array but data type will be the integer only so after declaration no one can change the data type now we are learning two important terms which will be used in dynamic array the first one is the redeem and second one is preserve so first of all we are learning the redeem redeem is used to change the size of array during execution when we have declared the dynamic array first of all we has to provide the empty bracket afterward while execution if you want to change the size then we will simply write redeem now redeem stands for redimension that means changing the size now we will write a what we want let us suppose a3 so if i want to change the size first time i will write redeem a3 if i want to change size one more time i will write redeem a5 So this way we can provide multiple redeem and we can keep on extending the size. So if you want to change the size of array during execution, we need the redeem. The next one we are having is the preserve. When we are keep on increasing the size of dynamic array during execution, so it is possibility that previous value which we have stored may be lost. So if you want to preserve them strictly, then we need this keyword which is preserve. So preserve the data. without loss when we are changing the size of array let us suppose that i want to change the size of array one more time so for that we will write redeem that is for redimension now i want to make a5 so the size of array will change now previously we have given to a3 so that means we have taken certain values so those values can be lost so that's why we are writing preserve here so if we are writing preserve then the previous value will also be taken so these are the two main redeem and preserve which will be used into the dynamic array one can extending the size and one is going to save the data without loss 
now we are learning the syntax of dynamic array suppose we are writing here dim now dim stands for declaration or the dimension now we are providing array name a the bracket is empty that means this is the dynamic array and now we are writing as integer that means this is the integer type of array so in the memory now one a name is declared and this will be becoming the dynamic array later on now we are executing the program and during execution let us suppose we want to change the size so we will write redim now redim stands for redimension or redeclaration so now here the name of array a and in the bracket we are passing 2 so that means this is the time where the size of array will be defined during execution so in the memory three blocks will be created one is for zero index then one then two we know that the array of dot net is different from the c programming in the c if we are declaring two then only two elements can be stored but if you talk about dot net here two means zero one and two so three elements can be stored let us suppose that we have entered few elements here maybe 7 6 and 5 so that elements we can enter with the help of a0 as 7 a1 as 6 a2 as 5 that we can easily enter now again i want to change the size of this array we will write redim now redim stands for redeclaration of array if i want to add on two blocks here so i will write redim simply a4 earlier it was 2 now it is 4 so two more blocks will be added one is 3 and second one is 4 so here we can see that 0 and 2 was earlier there 3 and 4 indexes are added as we are adding two more blocks here which is 3 and 4 there is a chances that the value of 0 1 and 2 these blocks may lost now to preserve these values if you want that these values also remain there when we are keep on extending the size of array then we use the keyword preserve so in between we will write a keyword that is preserve the earlier values which we have stored which was 7 6 and 5 now these are preserved so whenever we are keep on extending the size of array we will use redim and if you want to preserve the previous value we will be keep on using the preserve keyword now here we can add on more values if you want let's say 2 and 7 so this is how we can keep on increasing the size of dynamic array so this was the example of dynamic array which is 1d that is one dimension array now we are taking the example of two dimension array means if we are taking a dynamic array in two dimension then how it will work so first of all we has to declare the dynamic array we will write dim here dim stand for dimension or the declaration then after all, let's suppose that we are having array b so the size of array we are providing nothing because we know that this is the dynamic array so inside we are passing nothing now if this is the 2d array we will provide comma so here 1 and 2 two values can be taken so b now bracket start space comma space so that means it is a 2d array now as integer now meaning is that this is the array of integer type so this is 2d array we have taken so in the memory we are having the b now this b size is not yet defined while we are executing the program we can redefine the size it is same we will use the keyword that is redim redim stands for redeclare the size now the name of array is b now first value means x what do you want that is 2 and y what do you want that is 1 so 2 comma 1 that we have taken so in the memory 2d array is declared we know that the first one is the row and second one is the column now how many rows are there here two are mentioning that means 0 1 and 2 so three rows will be created and how many columns are there one that means 0 and 1 so two columns are there now we can add on some values here let us suppose that 7 6 2 1 3 9 so these values can be created 
Now, if you want to again resize this array dynamically, then we will use redim. Redim is for redimension. Now, we are providing the dimension again. Now, the same way, if we want that this array B change the dimension to 3 comma 2. So, here we are increasing the size. So, here first one is the row and second one is the column. Now, row is increased by 1. Earlier it was 2. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. So, third index value is taken in the row. Now, column 1 and 1, 2. So, here one more is added. So, this way they are keep on increasing the size of array. Now, there is a chance that previous values which we have provided like 7, 6, 2, 1, 3 and 9 may be lost because we are keep on increasing the size of array. So, for that we are using the keyword that is preserve. So, if we are writing the preserve here, then the previous value will not lost, they will be saved. So, now we can add multiple values if you want. Let's say 6, 9, 2, 3, 7, 1. So, this way we can keep on adding the size of array on the runtime. So, that is the dynamic array which is keep on increasing the size of array. Simply this redeem preserve a4 or maybe this a4 we can replace with ai and we can use this coding inside the button so every time we click on the button the, the size of array keep on increasing so now we are taking one example with the help of that we will understand that how this dynamic array we can work inside the program so now we are taking one program with the help of that we will understand the dynamic array first of all we have taken one form here the name is form 1 afterward we have taken a label bragged and dropped the label this is label 1 and change the text that is dynamic array we have made it bold and make the size to 12 then afterward we dragged and dropped a button and given the text that is redeem now double click on this button this coding will open after that we are having this class of form 1 so the form 1 class is created by the dotnet this is public because this form is accessed outside. Now end class. So the class is ending with the end class. Now afterward this dim button. This is the button 1. And this button 1 coding is already there. Which is sub. Sub means void. Button 1 underscore click. So this is the name of function. Private because button is the part of form. And sub is ending with the end sub. Now this is the first argument. And this is the second argument which is passed and then it is handling the button one dot click means whenever you click on the button one at that time this coding will run so first of all above the button we have declared the array now we should know that we have taken one more button here which is button two and given the text that is reading preserve now double click on that the same type of code will be there Private means part of form, sub is the void, the name is button 2 underscore click, two arguments are passed, this is 1, this is 2 and they are handling the button 2 dot click event, means when we click on the second button this code will run and it is ending with the end sub. Now this is the function 1 and another one is the function 2. Now above that we are going to declare the array so whenever we are declaring any array we should declare above the button the reason is that because this array can be accessed by first button as well as by the second button so we are declaring above that not inside now here we are having dim dim stands for dimension a now a is declared afterward there is blank. Blank means nothing. So this is a dynamic array as integer. So A is declared of integer type. Now if we click the button 1. So afterward the code of button 1 will run. Here we are having redim means redimension A2. So here the size of array is declared. We know that A2 means there will be the 3 index values. So 0 then afterward 1 and then 2 so here 3 index values are there starting from 0 and going till 2 so 3 blocks are created then afterward we are having a0 a0 equal to 10 so here the 10 is stored then afterward a1 is equal to 20 so inside a1 20 is stored then a2 is equal to 30 so 30 is stored here 
Then afterward, we are having message box. So one message box will be displayed. That is A0. The first value is what? That is 10. So 10 is taken. Then concatenating with one space. So you can see that there is small space between 10 and 20. Then concat with A1. The value of A1 is 20. So 20 is taken. Then concat with one more space so one more space is taken and concat with a2 now the value of a2 is 30 so this way one message box is displayed now we are clicking on the second button now afterward the coding of second button will run redim that means redimension preserve means preserving the earlier value a3 so by a3 we was earlier having a2 so one more block is added here now the name is 3. So we know that earlier value was there which was 0, 1 and 2. So these values are already there 10, 20 and 30. Now preserve means we want to save these values as well. So 10, 20, 30 will be remaining there and one more block is also added. So preserve means saving the value, redeem means redeclare means redimension the array. Now afterward a3 is equal to 40. So here in the a3 we are adding the 40 here. Afterward we are using the same thing message box. So one message box is declared. Here a0 we know that in the a0 10 then concat with one space and concat with a1. So a1 is 20 after one space then concat with space. So this is one space then concat with a2. a2 is 30. Then concat with the space, so there is a space, then afterward concat with A3 and A3 is 40. So this way one more message box is shown. So this is how we can use the dynamic array into the programming.